when you arrive, a human able to do the unthinkable. You even evaded me. Such an unlikely rival was almost invigorating to have one. And yet, it's a fitting end. Is that what sad looks like? I'd give you a hug, but... Hey, back off, asshole. So, uh, the reason I wanted to talk to you all... Uh-oh. Did you mutiny and jettison, Ryder? Uh, no such luck. He just showed up. She did ambush me, but I survived. Well, great. So, uh, my place is an utter mess. Who wants to help me clean it up? Think I left the stove on. I'm making ice. It's an ungarden holiday. Reports don't file themselves. Helping Liam make ice. But, but... No way are you fit for duty, miss. That stubborn skull of yours needs a chance to heal. Says who? The Pathfinder, that's who. Time to rest up. That's an order, Specialist Rider. Oh, yes, sir. Pathfinder, sir. Oh, oh who are we kidding? <laughs> I saw you eat your own boogers when you were six. If you two want to catch up some more, that's fine, but no getting out of bed. Castus, thanks for calling. Not a lot of people still admit to knowing me. I owe you. Those were good days on the Citadel, Alec. I checked with my son, Garrus. He works there now, CSEC. And? He says the Council thinks Commander Shepard's story is bogus. Uh-huh. But? Privately, I've heard they're starting to wonder. This threat? They're called Reapers? Shepard's word for them. Something about a cycle. An extinction event that happens every 50,000 years, galaxy-wide. And supposedly the alarm clock's about to go off again. Unbelievable. I know. But according to Garrus, Shepard's as level-headed as they come. Takes after you, and then Seven. So, if the Commander says these Reapers are coming, I don't want to be around to see them. Thanks, Castus. Take care. Yes? I checked around. There might be something to this. If there is a war, the scramble for resources will be on a scale we've never seen before. The chaos will be monumental. We should accelerate our timetable. Though we'll keep the reason quiet. No need to alarm anyone. But the arcs must be underway before any fighting starts. We can't get caught in the crossfire. Agreed. Now we know what G.N. Garson meant, that something big spooked the Benefactor. It was these Reapers. What do you know about them? A Spectre operative in the Milky Way, Commander Shepard, launched an investigation in 2183 into the existence of an ancient race known as Reapers. According to Shepard's information, the Reapers invade the Milky Way every 50,000 years to destroy any advanced organic life. Allegedly, this cycle has been occurring for millions of years. Shepard claimed the Reaper's return was imminent. But why was Jean Garson murdered? Recall Garson's words about the Benefactor. Now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for good. But I have my doubts. What does that mean? Who was, or is, the Benefactor? Unknown. That was over 600 years ago. Was Shepard right? Did the Reapers come back? Additional locks in your father's quarters have unlocked. Their implications are... troubling. Your father believed it prudent that you have this information, should anything happen to him. We've just arrived in Andromeda. Before the rest of the Hyperion wakes up, I've checked our comms for any signals from the Milky Way. Looks like sometime in 2186. Everything went to hell. We got out just ahead of it. Commander Shepard was right. So was our mysterious benefactor. Hello, Alec. This is Liara Tassoni, and the year is 2186. I don't know if you'll even receive this message, but we corresponded years ago. I remember you spoke about a plan to settle Andromeda. 
I don't know if your arcs made it out of the Milky Way, but the worst has happened here. I'm with Commander Shepard and a brave crew. We're trying to build a weapon to turn the tide, but I fear that the civilization you remember, the people of the Milky Way as you knew them, could be gone forever. You may be all that's left. Please, don't forget us. Keep us alive in your hearts. And tell your children of the wonders that once were. On behalf of the crew of the Normandy SR2, this is Dr. Liara Tassoni, signing off. Alliance personnel, please stand by for an emergency flash traffic message. This is a galaxy-wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Stephen Hackett has declared threat condition Saber 1. Enemy presence confirmed in Sol system. Earth under Reaper attack. I say again, Reaper attack is underway. Instructions to follow on coded channel Crimson Tacit. My god, son. This is Paladin Command to all Turian units within range. Under catastrophic Reaper attack. Primark Fedorian is dead. Ground units are searching for the next in succession. We'll advise when everybody get down! Drac, will you clean your armor? That smell's moving in and picking out wallpaper. Hey, if you don't like the smell, you can, um... You okay, big guy? Yeah, yeah, just old man moment. I got a good one. Don't rush me. I'll wait. Selling your Ark to the Ket makes no logical or tactical sense. To you, because you lack data. Several of us woke early, prepped the Ark, and then we found the Ket. So we made a pact. Sacrifice our Ark to the Ket and learn their secrets, so one day we could destroy them along with their exaltation. Hey, I know how not to get exalted. Get ourselves exalted, you idiot. perfectly in line with how everything was going. Meridian's gone, and now we're stuck in a catch shit show. Can I please get a break once in a while? Ryder! We're fighting! The cat are not taking us! Not today! Pathfinder, the Remnant City is not without its defenses. This is its central command. Stop. Get the Hyperion. Archon! Don't blame the people. This clusterfuck is all you. Ryder, kid, old man. <laughs> there is one more item, Pathfinder. Opening channels to the Nexus, Meridian, Podromos, Detaion, Tevuni, New Tachanka, and Initiative Allies. By unanimous vote, this world is to be renamed. Habitat 7 is now listed astronomically as Ryder 1. Your world, Pathfinder, their future 